What's up everybody? I've got about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to fish. Today's mission, musky and bass. I brought a Ned rig and I brought a musky rod. Let's get to it. I raised a giant out here about a week and a half ago. 53 inches probably. Probably 30 some pounds. Let's see if she's in here today. Try the shallow invader out. Pretty cloudy water. So I'm definitely gonna take my time with my retrieve. Water's right at 55 degrees. As you can see, that's the color shallow invader I've been using. I've been catching and raising a lot of fish on the same color scheme of glider. So I figure why deviate. love this thing because it rattles stained water I need a rattle lures fouled up still gonna work it in though Always work it in. No matter if you've got weeds on it, if it's fouled up, work it in. I'll fire this one right out there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh man. 
he had that for a while before I knew he had it. <laughs> nice. I still don't believe I have this musky. It's it's like a it was so random. <laughs> nice. Get you some water there, buddy. Okay, so I cut the first the front hooks. Get them out there in the water. So it took me a second to cut the those five hooks. I've got one more hook of the back hook that he's got in the bottom of his jaw, so I'm gonna let him relax. Lure is free. Let the musky relax. I don't really want to use the jaw spreaders on it because it was uh, pretty easy to access. The main thing that this musky was doing was thrashing around and getting the front hooks caught in the net. And when they do that, just go ahead and cut the front hooks. I mean, hooks are pretty cheap. You don't want to ruin a muskie because you're either you're afraid to cut hooks always carry hook cutters on you and always if you think you can't get a hook cut the hook so i'm going to dig this hook out right here and should be good to go last hook is out and see, once I cut that last hook, it was just dangling in its mouth. Super easy to get it out. So where it took me a couple of minutes to get that hook out, I'm just going to let it sit there. Alright, so it's been a few minutes. I've let this muskie swim around very lively. And I read in a good article by Jeff Contreras, who also has a YouTube channel. If you're having a hard time remembering what side of a musket to hold, left cheek, left hand, right cheek, right hand. <laughs> and there you go. There's a musket for you. Yep, little male, little male. I'll be back in here trying to find somebody to spawn with. Still very hefty. I'm going to hold him here until he can swim off. He'll try a couple times. And there he goes. Nice. <sighs> Good deal. Well, that didn't take long at all. I'm super stoked though. That fish, I guess, hit it. Um, I saw a big swirl behind it and I didn't know that um, the fish actually had it. So I was waiting for it to hit again, but then when I started reeling in, I felt slack and then I felt it pull. So uh, in this murky water, sometimes it's hard when you're running a bait that's subsurface to know that you have one, but um, definitely showed, uh, showed the importance of release tools uh, if you'll look real quick, I've got a set of long needle nose pliers there and hook cutters. I use that to cut shark hooks, shark wire, 
And also on my person, in my back pocket, I've got some uh, needle nose pliers as well. And I've got jaw spreaders in my bag. So you always wanna keep release tools if you're gonna musky fish. You need a net, you need two sets of pliers. Um, one of them at least is, needs to be long. Uh, and always carry hook cutters. Always carry hook, hook cutters. Um, I can't say that enough. And you know, if you're having a hard time getting hooks to cooperate, cut them. You know, why, why kill a, a, a very nice fish for a 50 cent hook? You know, just doesn't make sense. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> very, very quick evening musky. I'm probably gonna head to, head to the musky shop, get some more extra hooks for my, um, for my shallow invader there. But I definitely broke that bait in today. Thanks for watching y'all.